first thing. My hair is cute. Um, <laughs> here's the first issue, okay? Number one, it's not even like I'm a human being, so I get pissed off and I get ticked off, right? I'm an artist, so I am, as Erica said, I'm sensitive about my shit. The reality is, okay, is that my real beef is not only with Beyonce, because at the end of the day, she sampled a record, she's copied me before, she's done it before, so have many other artists, it's fine, I don't care about that. The issue is, is that not only do, are we female artists, okay, black female artists in an industry that we, there's not that many of us, right? We've met each other, we know each other, we have mutual friends, it's not hard, she can contact, right? Ash Nico, who's what, 20? She's a young white girl, she reached out when she freaking, like, it's just common decency, right? It's common decency, especially because because, as so many of you pointed out, as though I don't know, but let me help you, okay? I know what I own and what I don't own. I also know the lies that were told. I also know the things that were stolen. Publishing was stolen. People were swindled out of rights. It happens all the time, especially back then. So it's not about me being mad about Beyonce. Everyone's like, a sheer old sheep. And I'm talking to the people who are obsessed and blind, just like, oh, oh, oh. like, it's so dumb. It's so ignorant. It's so ignorant. She's one issue because it was stupid and disrespectful and she should have at least reached out. But the real issue is the fact that the people like Pharrell and like Chad, who Chad really is like an amoeba and just he's spineless, it's a miracle he can keep his neck up. But Pharrell knows better. This is a direct hit at me. He does this stuff all the time. It's very petty, very, very, very. And the reality is, is that it's frustrating. I have the right to be frustrated. Why? Because no one had the human decency to call and be like, yo, hey, would like to use your record. Which by the way, the reason I'm annoyed is because I know it was on purpose. This is not like some, oh, they were in the studio and it's No, no, this was an on purpose direct hit, which is very passive aggressive. It's very petty. It's very stupid. And I'm going to say what I have to say. I don't mince my words. So, all of you Beyonce fans, knock yourselves out. I'm not mad like that. It's not about me being jealous, jealous of someone using my song. That's the dumbest, most ignorant thing I've ever heard. Like, grow up. I was not thinking about her or no one else. Not even on no shade. Just not thinking about living my greatest, best life, as I always do. So it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that from one artist to another, you should have the decency and the common sense and the courtesy to call, reach out, a manager, an agent, anybody just to be like, yo, heads up, this is what we're thinking, this is what we're doing. Even if you're gonna do it anyway, just common decency. Like I said, it's happened before where people at least had the, the wherewithal to be like, yo, using your record, we understand that like Pharrell totally swindled you out of your stuff. Just wanna give the respect because that's what you do, right? No, that's not what happened. So grow up okay i don't mince my words i say exactly how i feel when i feel it how i feel it i don't care who likes it or doesn't like it it is what it is these are facts this is not opinion okay these are facts later so just to add to my thought <laughs> here's the issue okay this is not about really not about beyonce or anything else for that the reality is okay and i said what i said so still all facts okay but the reality is that this is more about the fact that like there's a lot of hypocrisy and there's a lot of nonsense so we've got pharrell who did a video uh sorry an interview i think last year talking about artists rights and how people should be able to rework their deals and artists should be getting credit for what they've done and all this stuff where in reality when i was signed to him i had the same manager that he had and he has writing credits on my records okay all my singles coincidentally and he never wrote a song a lyric a day in his life okay and so yeah, that's a problem. Number two, we've got Beyonce, who like I said, out of human decency and artistry and female, just all of the stuff she sings about, all this empowerment and stuff, I don't talk about it, I am about it, okay? So the reality is all of this female empowerment, stuff, it only counts if you really do it. If you're really living it and walking the walk. Don't just talk the talk, it's real cute and fun to sing all these girls songs, don't, like, come on now, let's be real, all right? And then thirdly, you want to talk about Pharrell saying, oh, cause I'm happy. I'd be happy too if I was selling all kinds of folks publishing and rights to songs and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I actually really, really wouldn't be happy because it's evil. But the point is, okay, is that there's a lot of hypocrisy and someone has to talk about it and bring it up. And it just so happens that I'm, I was thrown in this. This is not like I looked for it. I was actually last night, I was posting on my bounty and full page, just doing my own thing. And then I saw one of my fan pages and someone was like, oh, that's a collaboration. Collaboration between B and Khalees. No, it's not a collaboration. It's called thievery because the collaboration, the definition of collaboration, it means that we are working together. There's no working together if you are not even checking to see if everything's cool. That's a problem, okay? I would never do that to another artist, for real. I never have, I never would. Why? Because what's the point? If I like it so much, why wouldn't I just be like, yo, I really like it. Can I use it? What's that? Like, whatever. 
that doesn't happen, right? It's nonsense. Because some people, I don't know if they, I don't know what they think. I really, I don't even care. The point is, something has to be done about it. I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm not going to pop off all the time. I'm saying what I have to say because it's true, okay? But I do think that something needs to be done. It happens to a lot of artists. It happens all the time. And I think that really something needs to change. And this just might be the fuel that I needed to actually do it. Because honestly, I try to keep to myself and stay out of the drama. But if it keeps coming to me, what else am I going to do? Right? That's all. So, say what you want to say. I don't really care. Peace.